Hey guys, this is the Mokuba Cosplayer back with another Let's Play. So let's start doing some of those side quests. <sighs> okay. Dun -de -dun -de -dun -de -dun. And yeah, let's go start off with the Thin Blood quest. <sighs> okay. Let's head out to the diner. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. <clears throat> da -dee 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 -dee. Okay, when you're just standing there idly and you're then your food burnt to a crisp. Okay. Okay, did not know we could talk to him. Uh, sure, why not? Something I can help you with. Uh, uh, chilly out there tonight. I guess. Uh, are you waiting for someone? You're not eating. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Sorry, didn't mean to intrude. Goodbye, then. Okay. That was... weird. Strange behavior. You... Do something with the food! Anyways, let's go talk to her. What'll it be, honey? You ever see any pale, kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? Uh... Have you ever heard a term thin blood? In blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? I'll at least give her kudos for giving us an educated guess. <laughs> uh, try to remember. Where did you hear it? <clears throat> I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about her recently? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to do that. Okay. We've got a car key and it looks like it belongs to Lily. I guess that's a picture of her. And uh, Bill Bond. Rolf Toadson. Okay. And you're still. Then you're freaking. Boo burn. What the fuck? What'll it be, honey? The cream's curdled. I can smell it. And I think those are rat droppings there. Are you the health inspector? Just let me get my... Let me just get my badge and I'll show you. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. <laughs> okay. If you excuse me, I have other fine establishments to inspect. Okay. We're pretty much done with this area for now. Uh, so let's go check out that bail bond, shall we? Okay. Oh, and for first timers, if you ever seem to get lost, uh, you see these stop bus stop signs. Here is your map around Santa Monica. So, yeah. Probably should have just pointed that out a little earlier, but I totally forgot, so sorry about that. That's my fault. Okay. Oops. Sorry.
Here we go. If you're new to town or just shut up. Okay, let's go check out this computer. Uh, <coughs> S through Z. Oops. Oops, sorry. Tolton R. Like you're sleeping on a job, you fatty. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? You run this place, I assume? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees here, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> mm, okay. Bounty hunter. Now that's gotta be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Your partner is not accepted. <laughs> Anyways, um, is the bounty hunter you have any now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Can't you find another bounty hunter? Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Of course. Where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. in, in. I'll tell him. See you later, Arthur. I almost called him Hun. Anyways. Uh, let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. All this running. There's the asylum right there, but we're not gonna go there just yet. Yeah, okay. is still there. Oh, very nice apartment. Hmm. What's this? Only 25 bucks? Come on. From for someone that lives in a nice apartment as this? Why only carry around 25 bucks? But then again, smart idea and especially when you don't want people to find out you got moolah. Yay, Himalaya. Nice dress. Cute shoes, too. You know what? I want that outfit. The only thing I don't like is the hair. Do something with the hair. Then maybe I'll fall in love with you. But I do love the outfit and the shoes, though. Anyways. Uh, let's play this thing. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, um, anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was, uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. <laughs> Anyways, uh... 
So, make ghee. I'm going to take a wild guess. Oh, that actually worked! Location. Cool! Key. Oops. Thanks for the reminder. Let me know where everything is. Key. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Alrighty. Let's check out that tattoo parlor. I never noticed that. I mean, I, I guess I don't know, know if I have mentioned it in the last last play, but you see that all the way in the background past the under bridge. I never noticed that. That looks pretty cool, though. I wonder what's up there. Okay, big couch. Mm, nothing in the counters. And absolutely no artwork to show for. What kind of tattoo parlor is this? This is not even a tattoo parlor. This is a piece of shit. Uh, it's down here. And if this is where this person lives, this looks more like a freaking dungeon than a makeshift bedroom. Anyways. He doesn't seem to be here in a moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? Hmm. No. Actually, I'm looking for him myself. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? He's just an old friend. Oh, I, I see. You sound very discouraged. <laughs> Could you answer a few questions for me? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. Okay. So, we've got a lead. Apparently, that creepy ass sounding dude, Gimbal. Uh, let's just head over there. What could, what could go wrong? Okay. Well, actually, uh, let's get a little bit of the Thin Blood quest out of the way too, since we're kind of in the middle of that as well. Oops. Key. Whoa, buddy. That. Yep, that is it. What the fuck? Weird. Sounds like there was a massacre going on. I don't want to be around here no more. <laughs> cool, one experience point. Not much, but it will do. Okay, Gimbal's prosthetics. Oh, it seems to be at the right place. What could go wrong? Okay. Hello. I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. 
Thanks. Okay. Let's go in. Hello. Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. Who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. You sound a lot creepier in person than you do over the phone, and you look creepy. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves um, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. You look angry and you're supposed to be, like, happy. <laughs> uh, you seem, uh, disadvantaged yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you mean the arm. Yes, oh, oh, that's an interesting story. If you've got the time for one. Uh, <laughs> do I want to? Why do you look so scared? Scary and creepy. Uh, I'd love to hear it, Stan. Well, you might say I have a certain love affair with the human anatomy. An obsession, really. Prosthetics seemed a natural occupation in which to uh, focus my enthusiasm, as it were. And your arm? Well, I came to realize that I would never truly reach mastery in prosthetics without knowing what it was like to have to use one. Wait, you didn't. And so I decided, quite out of the blue actually, to cut off my own arm. My work, as you can well imagine, has quite improved since then. <laughs> I don't, I... <laughs> I am no virtue to this. Uh... Now that's dedication. <laughs> Let's get back to Mr. McGee. Mm hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't show up? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of, um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. I see. Does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No. I, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Yeah. That sounds great. I'd appreciate it. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks. I'll wait here. Yeah, his arm is deformed. Okay. Um, something about that story <laughs> tells me this is going to get bloody. Uh, so... Uh... Let's check out the place first. Okay. Uh, kind of legit, even though it looks uh, look more like a prison. Okay. Uh, why his office is over there? I wouldn't know. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, ooh, fridge. Oh, we can actually open it. Blood pack. Ah, oh, just one. Nah. Whatever we can get. Uh, let's see. Giddy. Okay. Uh, seems quite legit, I guess, but what's down here? Oh boy. Uh, 
some dead. Okay. Make sure. Uh, something doesn't seem right here. Tools. Ooh, wow. What a bloody sink. Uh, yeah, something doesn't add up. Right. Uh, no, it doesn't. Something about this gives me the creepy chimneys. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, it makes Mercurials vomiting out blood look more appealing than this shit. Uh, <laughs> will she? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, high sense of battle coming up, but first, let us invest our melee, and we can always add more eventually. Uh, arm ourselves with that, and most important thing before we lose our progress. Save. Cannot, absolutely cannot stress this enough. Seriously. Oh god. I hope I can survive this because other times I've played long before I've done the let's play, I've died many, many times. And adding an additional point to melee, I think, helps. Yeah, this looks horribly... Um, this doesn't look right at all. Okay, let's go up here. Huh? Oh, hey! Help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job. Who? Gimbo? Who? Gimbo? Yeah, Gimbo! That guy's been taking pieces off of me and Mickey over here for the last three days! He's crazy, man! Freaking crazy! Okay, where's the key to this door? What the hell? What the hell? Better. Oh, fucking A, man. Better. Okay, this is not looking too hot. Okay. Use these very sparingly. I cannot stress us enough. Ah, fuck, come on! Batter up! Come on! Come on! Yes! Beat the asshole! A lot of times, I would die like about ten times being on the first try. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. And probably ate it too. <laughs> Shut up. He was asking for it. <laughs> Your Carson, I take it? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you shouldn't head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. The poor fool. Severed arm, you are ours for our. You are our trophy. Ew. Yeah, that looks like McGee. Lovely. Uh, 
But yeah, surprisingly enough, uh, usually, in, especially in my previous games before, uh, there have been times when I have died up to 10 times just trying to beat McGee. Well, not McGee, I'm sorry. Gimbal. Fucking Gimbal always somehow killed me almost 10 times. So, oh, oops. So, yeah, that is the reason why I always hated Gimbal. So now let's get out of this fucked up dungeon of a of an prosthetics office. Okay, let's head back to uh, the bail bonds and have to be the bearer of bad news. I really never noticed that background. That is a really tall tower, by the way. I wonder if it's, I wonder who works up there and. Uh, it must look really nice up close and personal. Uh, anyways, uh, la dee dum. Even though we're running, we can never get there fast enough. It sucks. Usually, that guy with the uh, sign would be preaching out the apocalypse and all that good shit. He's a very quiet today, which is really weird. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, fatty. Hey there. What can I do you for? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Uh, I can't understand if Jack would call me boy. At least I'm cool with him. To, but for you to call me boy? Fuck you. What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long. Put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Uh, you haven't paid me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. $201, sweet! Thanks. About that job. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? I suppose I could do that. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Hmm. What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small time stuff, mostly. What did he do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay. So, above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta. In them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Uh, I understand my place isn't the best place in the world, but it, that's not my fault. I wasn't, I, I, I never wanted to be in that crappy place anyway, and how dare you disrespect my haven. I'm gonna get you for this. Uh, yes, I hear you. Alright, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. I'll 
let you know if I, as soon as I find out something. Yeah, ah, uh, he's gonna get it later. He's still going to get it. Alright. Let's just head back to our haven for now, take a break. There's the asylum. We're gonna go there in the next segment of the Let's Play. Da -dee -da -dee -da. Okay. Okay. Uh, this must be it. Okay. Try again. Awesome. Hello. Wow. Completely empty. Absolutely nothing. This is weird. Take a listen. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days. Maybe, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Wow, it looks like Muddy just got himself into a much deeper shin hole. And yeah, that's lovely. So don't worry about this one for now because it's gonna be a while until we can actually get to downtown. Um uh, But we are going to take a break. Let's see. Nine points. Okay. It's that's decent actually. Mm, let's see. It could be best. You know what? We'll worry about that another time. Well actually we're gonna worry about adding points to our uh stats. Um in the next segment. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and um, if you want to tune in for more of the Let's Play, then uh, by all means, subscribe, and just keep an eye out for more Let's Plays in the near future. So, until the next time, this is the Mocha Cosplayer signing out. Bye!